Jew, ugly mole, stick your face in a dirty hole, stick your face in a mustard pot, by tomorrow Jew will rot. Willie said later that she wasn't allowed to sit next to me anymore because I was Jewish. More volunteers were needed to work in labor camps. You could be as old as 60. The Gans father was pleased he wasn't too old to go. Where are we going? To the Abbings, father said. I want to talk to them about hiding. Sure, I love living up here. Doesn't it show? My smile isn't wide enough. Here. Is this one better? That's how much I love it. And every year my smile will get wider and wider because I'll love it more and more. Hello. Tears on my face? But I'm not crying. I am. I am crying. I'm so glad. Why did it take you soldiers so long? So awfully long. I'm not mad. Today? How could I be? Hello. I love you. It sounds funny, but I mean it. All of you. The Upstairs Room is a true story about events that happened to Johanna Wright, the author. She tells about the time she spent living in the house of a family named the Oosterbelt. She and her sister, Simi, are separated from the rest of her family to hide in the most upstairs room of the Oosterbelt's farmhouse for two years. Johan, Oppo, and the Enche Oosterbelt take the best care they can of them. But Annie and Sidney still encounter many challenges while living in hiding. The story ends when the Allies finally reach Holland and Annie and Sidney are able to join the rest of their family again.